Mother's Day is just days away at this point, and if you still haven't gotten mom something just yet, don't worry. You can always make her something special, maybe something special to eat. This morning, I'm joined by uh, culinary arts instructor Chef Ryan Parker and culinary arts student Amir Shakur from Dorsey uh, Culinary Academy. Also, uh, Chef Jeremy as well here. He's the associate director of Dorsey. Thank you guys uh, so much for coming in. What are we making today? So one of the big things about Mother's Day is we have a lot of people come over for the family and we mm -hmm. want to not be in the kitchen yeah, while absolutely. we're having the party. So we want to do something nice and simple to make ahead. So we decided that we we're going to do a nice large strawberry shortcake. Um, and mainly we start off with just some strawberries here and you can simply slice these up uh, real quick. And we're going to add them to this nice big bowl here uh, where we've got some more strawberries already sliced. And we've just taken a couple tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to say, because they there. look a little shiny. So They're a little does the, shiny, yeah. Does the sugar bring out? Yeah, so the sugar allows for the, um, the natural juices to come out, mm -hmm. and they have a beautiful shine to them. Uh, and they also makes a really nice little syrup uh, to put on our shortcake. Okay. So we've made a very simple shortcake here, and I've already taken the liberty of cutting it in half uh, so we can assemble this nicely. Um, we're going to take some of our strawberries okay. and we're going to spoon them right into the middle. Let me go back uh, a step while you're doing sure, that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, looking at the cake, what kind of cake is this? Because, okay, I can cut up strawberries. I can do that. Perfect. We're talking about making a cake now, and that's this the is part a, where we're This is a very simple shortcake recipe. It's mm -hmm. a very traditional shortcake recipe, which you can actually find on our website at okay. dorsey.edu slash blog. Uh, so I'm going to put up some strawberries right in the center here. But all we've done is taken this beautiful shortcake recipe and sprinkled some sugar on top. You bake it off for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's a nice golden brown on the outside. Okay. And then over What's here, doing? Yeah. I've got Amir. He's actually uh, whipping up some mascarpone cheese, which is a nice uh, soft cheese. It's got a little bit of a tanginess to it. So we're okay. going to sweeten it with just a little bit of sugar. So what and looks like cream is actually cheese. It is, actually. Okay. So it's got a you want to taste. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I will taste so it. We're done. We've got, a, we've got it in our piping bag, and okay. we're just simply going to make uh, some beautiful rosettes that go all the way around our shortcake here. Okay. And we can do that all the way around, and just for the sake of time, I'm going to bring this around. And while you're doing this, you know, Chef, uh, Chef Jeremy over here, the strong yeah. silent type, has been strong. busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear I like the activity. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, so we're uh, putting together a little mulled blueberry and orange cocktail for the morning, uh, kind of a take on the mimosa with a little okay. twist. So we have some fresh blueberries. I'm following a mint julep, so it's kind of tough. No, but it's, it's not tough at some, all. some uh, blueberries that are fresh in, the, uh, in a pitcher. Or any container, mm -hmm. and then a couple squeezes of lime juice. And, and you're sort then, of muddle, uh, muddling them? Muddling, yes, yes. Okay. Just mixing them up a little bit and uh, mashing them up, and then about a tablespoon or two of sugar, depending on how sweet you like it. Okay. And then uh, we let that sit for about 20 minutes. We pour some orange juice on it and let that come together for another 10 minutes or so. And okay. we did this ahead of time here. So and then you pour over ice. All right, and, and it looks like this. And we're running out of time here, so. And you're putting the final touches on sure, the. Uh, we'll put a big dollop of master sweet and master cone cheese, and if you want, you can add some more strawberries to the top. Where can Just folks find out more information about Dorsey Culinary Academy? If someone at home is thinking, I, I think I'd like to know more about the school, and they want to do this themselves, the they want to be like Amir. The best way to, yeah, they want to be like Amir. He's a great student, but the best way to get in touch with us is go to dorsey.edu. You can get the recipe at the blog. But we've got tons of information there as well. Thank you so much. Thank I really so much appreciate it uh, joining us. I'm going so to much. taste all this. We'll be right back with another check of news, weather, and traffic right after this.